Nigerian Inference spokesperson Yinka Odumakin dies of COVID-19 in Lagos Hospital. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. How are you all doing? Happy weekend and happy Easter. But it is unfortunate that this is a sad news and we have nothing to you know to do than to bring it to a notice of what is happening in Oduduwa land as it is now if you are conversant with trend of the things happening in in nigeria you will know him very well and it's it's such a pity but before we go further into this uh, particular news, please, if you are just coming across my video for the very first time, as well as my channel, guys, please help us to grow this channel. It takes nothing from you. As you are stopping by, just click on that place written subscribe with red. And the bell button will pop up. You will click on it once and you will be notified anytime we put out content out there, especially contents you know as it regards to nigeria and its environ please you want to be updated on what is happening just help us click on that red subscription bell you will be notified and to my returning subscribers i can't thank you enough it's only god that will bless and repay you back in jesus name amen let us get into the news after the first first person, Yika Odumake dies of COVID-19 in Lagos Hospital. Today, due to the complication from COVID-19, according to the family sources, the spokesperson for Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afani Fere, Yika Odumake is dead. He died in the early hours of today due to complication from COVID-19, According to the family source, I just spoke with the with Dr. Joe, his wife. She's in panic. She said part of her is gone. Odumakin has been in the ICU of Lasut for the past one week after being transferred from IDH Yaba. A source said. Odumakin was a human rights activist who played a vital role in a national democratic coalition that fought General Sani Abacha regime after the, after the whole event that took place in June 12, 1993 election. He was the upper Yoruba group spokesperson for, for over two decades, coordinating the, the publicity and public in all activities that the group has been into, he has been the one coordinating it. He was also of a Saturn and Middle Belt Leaders Forum. He was also their spokesperson, the body representing ethnic nationality in the Southwest, South South, Southeast and Middle Belt. Udumakin married to another activist, Dr. Joe Udumakin has been one of the strongest critics of the present government using the platform of Afeni Fere. He has consistently taken on the Mohammed Buhari led government over alleged impartial and the favoritism in appointment into the various offices. His voice was also very loud in condemning the activities of killer heisman in the Yoruba land. He recently won the federal government against arresting Sunday Boho. He recently issued a witness to the Fulanese in Ibarakpa, Oyo State, and subsequently ejected the Sariki Fulani in Igangan. Guys, this is so pathetic. It's so sad to see this news. I don't know what you make out of this news, guys. How do you see it that he died of COVID-19? But, you know, whatever that happened, they must have a way of giving that thing name. Mm -hmm. Because, personally, to me, 
I don't think COVID-19 is real in Nigeria. That is my own opinion. I don't know your own opinion. Let's deliberate it on the comment section. Come at the comment section. Tell me your own opinion. I want to hear from you. Well, personally, my own opinion and from my own observation, there's nothing like COVID-19 in Nigeria. But we are going to take reactions from people. This is so sad. My heart bleeds. Why, Yoruba, at this point in time, will be losing such an important, you know, personality is so sad it's so 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 sad I, I i wasn't myself when i saw the news initially i decided to summon up courage to you know give us the latest that is happening so let's take some reactions from people chai oh my gosh no wonder we have not been hearing from him of late we we will sure miss him May his soul rest in peace. And that person said the patriot lambasting wishing others dead is gone. You see? You see how people behave? This is Muhammad Ali Sadid. <coughs> Excuse me, I beg you for pardon. You see what she's what this person is writing? He said not Anna. He said not Anna. Maybe this person probably this person is pushing wheelbarrow with yam all over their states. And this man is speaking that let there be, you know, let there be, let there be reform over that particular country. For him, he wants reform. He wants, you know, that Nigeria will be, you know, change some laws and other things so that it will, it will be balanced for both the North and both the South. If that country becomes good tomorrow, if eventually it will, this person writing this thing, will be part of it but look at what he is wishing him that the patriot lambasting and wishing others dead is gone where has he wished dead to others anyway what you sow you reap let's take another comment not this time no no what a great loss the mad piece of will do the one nation the voice of the voiceless may your gentle soul rest in peace in the bosom of the lord so pathetic they just killed him nothing corona will not see may his soul rest in peace this person is is just of op of opinion on, on my own him his own opinion and my own opinion are just the same there is nothing like corona in nigeria that's my own opinion and that's what this person has said let us take another reaction from this person. his death should be a lesson for living for leaving mischievous elements walking to set Nigeria ablaze. You see, because this is the same, uh, uh, another, another Notana, his name is Rahama A. Ibrahim. You see it. How are people, you know, setting, setting the country ablaze that he, they, they are talking about restructuring, restructuring Nigeria. Is it w w how he has called for setting, setting the country ablaze? You see how people behave. Anyway, you reap what you sow. That's a law of life. Let's take another person. Junk journalism. Which COVID? Tell us. He died after a brief illness. Rest in peace, the true son of the soil. The soul, the whole South will miss you, sir. Thank you for standing up for the truth and defending your people against the leading beast. Posterity will not forget you. Rest on. In fact, my heart is bleeding. Ah, I don't want to continue this video. I don't want to continue taking these uh, comments. It's making me to cry. But guys, let's just say a word of prayer for the family he left behind. And for the Dudua nation at large. And whatever you feel about this, let's, you know, deliberate it on the comment section. Come tell me your own opinion. And try as much as you can as you comment. You comment constructively. We are all human. Comment constructively. Constructively, like, share, give me a thumbs up, you know, and subscribe. Guys, subscribe. It takes nothing from you. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.